you came in 2010, you followed Bobby Bowden. How are you just so willing to embrace this new thing that nobody's doing? Well, it, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. Early on, yeah. it was very, uh, a lot of sleepless nights. Because I'm a new coach, first time you get your head, your head job, you coach Bowden, you're at Florida State where you want to be. I really felt like trying to get Florida State back on top. Football is a great uh, vocation, profession, for somebody who likes to compete and wants to win, you see. I'm doing something totally different that's not being done across the country. So am I crazy or am I, yeah. am I going to blow the one opportunity I got as a head coach? At the highest levels of ball, if you ever stop evolving, yeah. you die. So now sports science lab, we have our GPS uh, player tracker systems. The GPS units themselves will give us instant feedback, uh, real-time data based on uh, their movements, whether it be speed, accelerations, change of direction. I actually hate this stuff. Uh, all my smart guys do this. I did my undergrad in, in, in engineering. My specialization was in artificial intelligence. Everybody's got good players, they got good facilities, they got you know coaches that can coach. Uh, we're trying to find 1%. When we put the units on the pads, we hand out heart rate straps. They just put it, they just put it under the compression sleeves. We call these the heart rate bros. Immediately when I saw it, I was just confused. First thing, first thought came to me, like, what is this? I'm like, it's a sports bro. I'm like, you said sports bra? You, um, I'm like, no disrespect, but I'm like, I'm, I'm, my name's Derek. We weren't getting the results in which we needed. We had to change and evolve into something different. And this was a significant part of it. We can use the information that we get from the GPS in order to know how much a guy has worked, how much do we want him to work, if we need to pull him back, if we need to push him a little more. That ain't good. You got to jam hard inside. Here. Boom. Now! If you're looking at the GPS, it gives you hundreds of variables. But like, we, we use about 10 or 15 that we consider really important to us. Player load right here. Player load, maximum speeds with the heart rate and combined. Because, you know, you can tell when a guy actually is giving you full effort. When a coach, and especially a head coach of the caliber of Coach Fisher, buys into the information and is and is willing to tweak his practice on the base of the data that we give him. It's it's absolutely phenomenal. Two things. One takes the guesswork out of what a guy's body is really doing. Mm. And at the end of the day, what well, we we all talk about max performance. Now, we still grind them, and we, you got to be careful with it. In my opinion, is you can't be solely on that. There's still a mental toughness a fortitude, and that's why I like a lot of those coaches probably don't like it. You know, at the end of the day, it's just a measuring tool. If you put it on and you sit on your butt, it's gonna say zero. So, you still actually have to do the, do the work. There's still that old school grind, tough mentality, you grind it out yeah. type thing that I think you still gotta have, and I think we do a great job of that. My job is to take what he recruits and give him the results he wants. Number one thing that'll that'll help athletes become better at, at training. That's attendance. Without attendance, all of the fancy stuff in the world will never work for you.
strong. A squat is the best exercise for your legs. You need to be strong to play football in general, but you need to be really strong to be a lineman. Uh, it'd be the squat master and the bench master. Two things we never take pride on in athletes, in my opinion. Yeah. Sleep and nutrition. I order probably three to 500 pounds of fruit every week um, for between here and shakes and also up in our fueling station. Um, so we'll have grapes, cuties, apples, um, things like that in this fridge. In this is all storage. We order about 30, 35 gallons of milk every week to make shakes. Oh, he got dog at home! <laughs> From my father, who was, I thought was a, he was a boss in the coal mine, could always get people to do things. And I always thought this from each coach. Coach Bowden had his way. I was around Coach Saban, who was very successful, had his way, Les Miles, Terry Bowden. I mean, different people, and I've been around others, saw other coaches. But what I've always saw from successful people, they were their own guy. They did what they believed. Traditions and history of a, a university or of a sport, I don't think they ever change. I don't think the true traditions. But how you do business daily does. You gotta be able to adapt, change, but at the same time, be able to keep the same traditions and toughness that, and things that go with the sport in which you're enhancing. And hopefully we're part of that generation that's changing the sport as far as how you go about things and get more out of the players, but at the same time keep the same traditions and history that we all love about the game and, and not soften it up. And that's, you know, I don't know if it's gratifying or not, but I think it's helped us become successful and it's a part of how we do things.